Haisen, or Lucky Dragon Tea, is a Chinese green tea that comes from the Anhui province of China. It is made from young leaves that are thinly rolled to have a long, twisted appearance that unfurls when brewed. The name Haisen is probably derived from a Cantonese name Chinese, Shi Chun Cha Jiping, Hei Wen Ceon Wen Caa 4, literally, flourishing spring tea. Although there are also anecdotal claims that it was named after an English tea merchant, Philip Heysen. Heysen is graded into the following three categories, Mi Si, Cheng Si and Fu Si. While Heysen tea is often thought of as a low-grade or mediocre quality tea, young Heysen is considered high quality. It is harvested earlier, before the rains, and has a full-bodied, pungent taste and is golden in color. Young Heysen tea is subdivided into Chun Mi, a hard, small, twisted leaf; Feng Mi, a long, large, curly leaf; Sa Mi, a small, non-hard, twisted leaf; and Siftings. It is also sometimes classified as first, second, and third young Heysen. The Chinese name for young Heysen is Yu Chin Cha and is categorized as the following: Mi Yu, O Yu, I Yu, Ya Yu, as well as Si Yu. Topic. Brewing methods To brew, use 1 teaspoon per 6 ounces cup, use water that is below boiling point, and steep for 2 to 3 minutes. Heisen tea has been described as light, warm, smooth, good bodied, earthy, sunny, and spring like in flavor. It can be served hot or iced. Milk and sugar are not typically added and are thought to diminish the flavor of Heisen tea, but cold Heisen tea is often garnished with lime or lemon. Historical and literary references Despite often being considered of mediocre quality, Heysen tea was highly prized by the 18th century British and tea tax on Heysen tea was higher than for other teas. During the Boston Tea Party Heysen tea represented 15 of the more than 300 chests of tea that were destroyed. Heysen tea is referenced in the first stanza of Xenophanes by Ralph Waldo Emerson, 1847, by fate, not option, frugal nature gave one cent to hyson and to wall flower, one sound to pine groves and to waterfalls, one aspect to the desert and the lake." Quote, the English essayist Charles Lamb mentions hyson tea in his essay, Old China, which appears in the collection Essays of Elia Last Essays of Elia, published 1835, I was pointing out to my cousin last evening, over our hyson which we are old-fashioned enough to drink unmixed still of an afternoon some of these speciosa miracula upon a set of extraordinary old blue china. <laughs> 